Limburger in southern Dutch contexts Ramado, and in Belgium Hervé cheese is a cheese that originated in the Hervé area of the historical Duchy of Limburg, which had its capital in limbourg sur vestre now in the French-speaking Belgian province of Liège. The cheese is especially known for its strong smell caused by the bacterium Brevibacterium linens. Geographic <inaudible> <inaudible> origins <inaudible> <inaudible> The Hervé name has become the modern European protected name for the cheese, while the Limburger name is used for the same style when made in other regions. Hervé cheese, or fromage de Hervé, is still produced in the territory of the old Duchy of Limburg, in Belgium, where according it has been produced since the 15th century. Hervé is located near Liege, and the borders separating Belgium from the Netherlands and Germany. The land of Hervé is a hilly area between the Vestre and Meuse rivers. The duchy existed until the French Revolution as a part of the German Holy Roman Empire, and the cheese style became popular in other areas, known by the name of its country of origin. In the U.S., it was first produced in 1867 by Rudolf Benkertz in his cellar from pasteurized goat's milk. A few years later, 25 factories produced this cheese. The Chalet Cheese Cooperative in Monroe, Wisconsin is the only American company that makes this cheese. It is also manufactured in Canada, where it is a German-Canadian cultural marker, by the Oak Grove Cheese Company in New Hamburg, Ontario. Description In its first month, the cheese is firmer and more crumbly, similar to the texture of feta cheese. After about six weeks, the cheese becomes softer along the edges but is still firm on the inside and can be described as salty and chalky. After two months of its life, it is mostly creamy and much smoother. Once it reaches three months, the cheese produces its notorious smell because of the bacterium used to ferment Limburger cheese and many other smear-ripened cheeses. This is Brevibacterium linens, the same one found on human skin that is partially responsible for body odor and particularly foot odor. Uses One of the most traditional ways of eating Limburger is the Limburger sandwich. After three months, when the cheese has ripened, it becomes spreadable. The cheese is often spread thick more than 0.5 cm or 0.2 inch on firm textured 100% rye bread, with a large, thick slice of onion, and is typically served with strong black coffee or lager beer. Alternatively, chunks or slices of the cheese up to 1.5 cm thick can be cut off the block and placed in the sandwich. This sandwich remains very popular among the descendants of German immigrants in the Midwestern United States, in places like Wisconsin and Ohio. However, it is markedly less popular among the descendants born after about 1960, mainly because of the permeating smell and the inconvenience of going to specialty cheese and sausage shops to obtain it. In Wisconsin, the Limburger sandwich can be found on menus at certain restaurants, accompanied by brown mustard. Limburger and its characteristic odor are a frequent butt of jokes. Reactions to, and misinterpretations of, the smell of Limburger cheese were gags used in numerous Little Rascals and Three Stooges comedy shorts. Also, the arch enemy of the biker mice from Mars has the name Lawrence Limburger, complete with terrible body odor. A study showing that the malaria mosquito Anopheles gambi is attracted equally to the smell of Limburger and to the smell of human feet earned the IG Nobel Prize in 2006 in the area of biology. The results of the study were published in the medical journal The Lancet on 9 November 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Nutrition facts 100 grams of Limburger contains 17 grams of saturated fat and 27 grams of total fat. 327 calories, of which 240 calories are from fat. 90 milligrams of cholesterol 800 milligrams of sodium 20 grams of protein See also Leiderskranz cheese List of German cheeses List of cheeses <laughs>